So here we're going to talk about the phase shift for sine and cosine. So we have y equals sine of x minus d, and then we have y equals cosine of x minus d. And so in this case, we're going to say that d is called the phase shift. So the phase shift is d. And basically, this is just a horizontal uh, translation or transformation or shift. We're shifting the graph left and right. So whenever um, you have a positive value, you're going to go right. Okay, so it's a right, it's a right shift. Okay, and if you have a negative value, it's a left, left shift. Okay, and so let's look at some examples. Um, it's pretty easy. Say we had y equals sine of x minus 3. So this is a right shift. If you remember from like other math classes, whenever you subtract a number from the x, you think it's left, but no, no, it's right. So we're going right 3 in this case, right, right 3. And so the phase shift here is d equals 3, right, because it's x minus d, so, so your d is, is 3. Let's look at another example so you see how this works. Say we had y equals cosine of uh, x plus 2. So a couple ways to do it. Method one is using your previous knowledge. Whenever you add a number to the x, it's actually a shift left. So we're going to go left 2. We're going to go left 2. So in this case, d is negative, right? d is negative 2 because we're going left 2. You could think of it that way. Another way is just using this formula up here. Um, so you can think of this as x minus negative 2. Therefore, d is negative 2. And then another way is just switch the sign. That might be the easiest way. So whenever it's x minus 3, it just becomes a plus 3. If it's x plus 2, it becomes a minus 2. Let's do another one. Check this out. Sine of x minus 4. And then one more. Cosine of x plus 8. So the easiest way to find the phase shift in both cases, I guess, is just switch the sign, right? So if it's a minus, you put a plus. And if it's a plus, you put a minus. And that's it. That's how you find the phase shift. So just maybe switch the sign. That might be the easiest way to go. So a phase shift takes the entire graph and shifts it left or right. And to find it, again, all you do is just switch, switch the sign. That's it.